Chapter 1 Introduction to BPM This chapter discusses that business processes are everywhere. We also describe what are ingredients of business processes. We also look at the origins and the history of BPM and we conclude by describing the BPM life cycle. Chapter 1, Section 1. Processes are everywhere. How does a commercial organization work? Commercial organizations offer goods and services to the market which their customers buy. The way how they do that is called order to cash process. Commercial organizations also spend their money on various things. The way how they buy is called the purchase to pay process. These two processes are the most important and very generic processes of commercial organizations. Why should we care about business processes? We should care about business processes because it makes a big impact how we organize them. Let's look at a historic example. Adam Smith is well known for his famous book An Inquiry into the Wealth of Nations. But he discusses also different business processes. In particular, a specific production process that is the process of pin making. I want to read out this piece of text uh, which we also print in our book. Adam Smith describes the process of pin making as follows. One man draws out the wire, another straights it, a third cuts it, a fourth points it, a fifth grinds it at the top for receiving the hat. To make the hat requires two or three distinct operations. To put it on is a particular business. To whiten the pins is another. It is even a trade by itself to put them into the paper. And the important business of making a pin is, in this manner, divided into about 18 distinct operations, which in some manufactories are all performed by distinct hands, though in others the same man will sometimes perform two or three of them. I have seen a small manufactory of this kind where ten men only were employed and where some of them consequently performed two or three distinct operations. Those ten men, therefore, could make among them up, what's up to 48,000 pins in a day. Each person, therefore, making a tenth part of 48,000 pins, might be considered as making 4,800 pins in a day. But if they had all wrought separately and independently and without any of them having been educated to this particular business, they certainly could not each of them have made 20, perhaps not one pin in a day. That is certainly not the 240, perhaps not the 4,800 part of what they are at present capable of performing in consequence of a proper division and combination of their different operations. A key aspect that Adam Smith describes is division of labor. And this is so essential for the way how today's organizations work. Adam Swift describes that each of the steps in the process is being done by a different person. Division of labor is one matter and it provides various advantages such that people can specialize and that they can keep the tools in their hands that they need to do for their steps. But it also means that we split up the work that means it's not only enough to split up the work, but we also need to think about how we reintegrate the different steps and the different results from these steps. And for that reason, business process management is so important. 
because when division of labor is about splitting up the work, it is business process management that gives us tools and techniques for integrating these different steps. Today, complex work in commercial organizations is not only organized by the help of division of labor. It is information systems that play an increasingly important role in two ways. First, information systems help us by supporting individual steps of the process. Second, information systems help to coordinate between different steps of the process. For this reason, information systems are so important for business process management. Therefore, we will discuss them at various stages of the book.